Hi guys, welcome to this class on text determination. We have seen pricing in which we used condition technique for determination. And like I said, there are many concepts in SD that use determination and condition technique to some extent or the other. Text determination and partner determination use condition technique to a very minimal extent but nevertheless if you have an understanding of condition technique understanding text determination and partner determination from a configuration perspective is very easy however what I want you guys to focus on is more on the concept itself meaning what are texts why are texts used where are they stored think of scenarios how you can use these texts and same thing when we discuss partner determination in another class so let's get started with text determination and what are texts so texts are little bits of information for example this text could be called uh, sales notes from customer notes from customer for example a customer says for this order deliver it to me on a Saturday that could be a delivery note a delivery note from customer and that is very ad hoc meaning it's specific only for that transaction now there are some notes that are always common for that customer let's say there is a customer that always insists that his deliveries be made on a Thursday or a Monday or a Friday maybe because he only goes to his warehouse once in a while so that is a pretty consistent chunk of data that always applies to that customer it's not just for a particular transaction so texts are like little post-it notes the post little post-it notes green blue yellow colors that you get from 3m consider texts more or less like that they can be attached to sales orders they can be attached to customers they can be attached to materials and we'll get to the best part where they can be transferred from one object to another we'll see that example in detail in a minute all right so why are texts used so we know that texts are like little post-it notes where you can just put in some text but what is the use of it well texts are flexible you can use it the way you like it meaning you want to just store some information sure store it you want to try you want to uh, dynamically determine texts based on certain conditions yes you can do it for example if the customer in the previous example said that he wants the order to be delivered on a Thursday right now this could be achieved using different means that functionality say could be achieved using what is called as scheduling delivery scheduling transportation scheduling so on and so forth so texts might not be really an ideal place for that 
so wh why then are texts used now it's not always the case that this piece of functionality is required by every customer this is only specific to one customer or a certain group of customers so you don't really have to build out a huge functionality just for that customer you can just use texts for example here is our customer let's associate a little piece of text to it that says deliver this by this date or some other uh, piece of info say um, this is a gold customer always treat him uh, properly or uh, make sure that you know his deliveries are properly packed his shipments go out on time it's okay if other customers are delayed a little bit you never know he's a priority customer let's say and now that is something that you cannot configure isn't it it's a, it's a thing that requires some human judgment now when you create an order ZOR for this customer here are the line items and here is the header at the header we want this information somewhere to be stored so that the person creating the order understands that this customer is important or when this order is delivered the person doing this delivery in the warehouse should also understand that this customer is important so ship his deliveries out first right so this piece of text whatever is written here let's say the piece of text that is written here is gold customer not guard gold gold customer or priority customer whatever you want to call it and that text can be made to flow down here and this text can be made to flow down here or you could add some other text here and you could make both these texts together flow down here to the delivery right so these are again like little post-it notes that can be transferred from master data to transactions in the case in the case where customer text is transferred to the order or you can have these little pieces of data transferred from one transaction to another in this case ZOR to LF and you could do it as well to F2 no problem okay now how do texts flow well we we now understand the texts can flow from master data to transactions and from one transaction to another but how do they flow they flow using a very simple method of defining an access sequence now we'll look at this access sequence in detail because it's a little technical in nature and in involves delving deep into the configuration but just understand that the texts flow from one object to another the objects could be master data or transaction data and they flow from one object to other using access sequence where we define the priorities and if one fails it falls down to the nether next and then so on and so forth so how do text flow via text determination procedure which contains access sequence where the sources are specified in a particular order and SAP goes searches in that order and picks up the first available just like you have pricing access sequence right so here is an example of um, or rather a generic visual representation of a sample text flow now any text available at the master data level can be made to flow down to the transaction header be it a quotation be it an order let's say this is an order
Now at the line item level, you can have text at master data level flow down to line items. This line item is M01. If you have a text tagged on to M01 material, that material will come and flow down to this line item. Similarly, you can have texts at the pricing condition records level. If you go to VK11, when you create a condition record, you can create texts as well. Right? If you can have a text here, and whenever pricing is determined for that line item using this condition record, that text can be made to flow down here. Same with customer material info records, CMAR. You could have texts here that could be made to flow down if, if that material was determined using a CMIR. Similarly, you could have custom text objects. These are defined in a transaction called SO. This is O, by the way, okay? 10. SO10. These are called standard text. You could define any ad hoc piece of text without referring it to any material master, customer master, or any other type of data. A standalone text object and that can be made to flow down either at the header or at the line item level. These are all your possible sources. The next most important possible source is another transaction itself. Text to an order header can be made to flow down from a previous transaction. Same thing at the line item level. Texts here can flow down from the previous transaction right now we'll see some examples of texts first and then we'll go on to the configuration define those texts and then make them flow using the determination procedures but before we go there let's first look at customer master we know our customer vd01 vd02 vd03 I think I might have logged off. Okay. Let's take a customer, uh, say 23897. Look at sales org. Click OK. There are three different types of texts associated with a customer master. The first is the general texts that as you have might have guessed is available in the general data section so go to extras and then click on texts there you go these are all your different texts you have sales note for customer accounting note marketing note blah 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 now if you were in change mode you could go and add texts to it. So let's go and add a text. Okay, we are in change mode now. Now here is an accounting note. Uh, gold customer always require both invoices and invoice list, blah, blah, blah. I want to type something more. It's not possible. What do I do now? I double click and then SAP lets you do something more, it put some more text in it, like infinite amount of text. Both invoices and invoice lists, and whatever text you want, and then you can save it. Okay, go back, and you know that there are multiple lines for a particular text if you look at this little flag over here. Alright, similarly, you can define n number of texts here you can have any text you like okay potential reasoning bank memos address note address note for example p.o box only <coughs> call customer for actual address whatever right and the other type of text in the customer master is sales text and that you can find by going to the sales area data and then clicking on extras texts 
again we have a different set of trans different set of texts these are not the same as the previous ones all right so these are th the two most important classifications of texts in the customer master general text is one which is available in the general data section and sales text is two which is available in the sales area data okay and the way to go that is to go to the respective um, views and then clicking on extras texts and here is how you create text against a particular text type so these are called text types each one is called a text type and against each text type you can define your own text these are this is like free form text you can have anything you like if you want more than one line you just double click it it will open an editor and then you can save it come back and you it will show a different flag here and the M stands for multiple so there is more than one line just to indicate that there is more than what you see over there and similarly at the material master level there are texts there is sales text there is purchase texts you can go and look at the sales text by let me see this customer and then we'll go to the customer material master all right mm02 open some material you like any material that you have created click on sales text purchase order text click OK and then this is sales text this material for example is a bio reagent and it's temperature sensitive blah 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 some storage conditions whatever notes that you want to have that for that material you can just put it in there if you want to export this text you can import this text you can maintain the text in different languages you can delete this text so on and so forth now similar to sales text there is a purchasing text as well and again same thing you can maintain it in different languages you can import that text from a text file you can export it into a text file so we have seen texts at the customer master level and the second thing is the material master level texts okay now one of the differences between the customer master level texts and material master level texts is at the customer master level there can be more than one text type like accounting note sales note pur purchasing note auditing note but with the material master there is only one type of text for sales and one type for purchases all right that's material master text as you can see the sales text is here the purchase text is here now how to create these texts say for example you look at this customer master let's say slash n vd02 all right two three eight nine seven and the customer account group is zero zero one for this customer if you want to create additional text like sales note shipping instructions etc etc and then you want to have another guy here uh, let's say call it a uh, um, auditing note how do you create it well first thing you don't want to change 0001 account group right or any of its properties so you create your own customer account group and you know how to do that let's go out create our own or use another customer account group say z001 or z something else zsiv anything you like and then we'll configure our own different text types and associate that with that customer account group okay here is our goal once again we want to create a new text type how do you do that you go to SPRO as usual IMG 
sales and distribution basic functions and text control right this is the menu path if you are not fond of the menu path there is a short and sweet transaction v o t x n okay don't forget the n v o t x n and then hit enter same thing shown in a different way okay now here are our central text and then click on text types table is cross client that's all right and here are our text types so many different text types you want to create your own text types yes go to new entry and create your own z blah 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 custom auditing note z000 okay and then click save of course you want to create a transport and we have our auditing note here okay so let me quickly save it so you know how to go there right or you can use this transaction VOTXN and then go to central text if you want to create new text types click on this new text types okay and click on new entries and you can create your text types this is sales this is a uh, general text this is sales text and here is how you create these texts so go select your text type click on text types and then go to new enter your text type and a description okay in this case we are entering something called as z005 which is customer special instructions or you could have z000 anything you like doesn't matter right now the next thing to do is create a text procedure right we have added our own text note little text note here called z000 or z005 the next thing to do is click on change all right and then we have 01 our text determination procedure copy it and create your own a z0 custom because we don't want to overwrite the existing text determination procedure right that's not standard practice we know and as usual click on copy all all right so we have our own brand new text determination procedure all right so what's underneath it so select it and then click on text IDs in procedures double click these are our text notes we want to introduce our new procedure right so click on new entries and then say uh, what were the entries prior to this hundred okay new entries 110 and Z000 and then 120 Z005 so on and so forth whatever text types you have created just go and enter them save them and Z0 is the new text procedure that you have created you want to assign this text procedure to our customer account group let's say custom sold to party or custom build to party whatever you want to associate it to let's say we want to associate our custom procedure to uh, let's pick up a new Z customer Z001 I think this is one that we have created Z005 I believe right so go ahead and change this to Z2 or Z0 which is our custom text determination procedure that we have just created all right enter and 
save. So whenever you create a customer of type Z005 account group, the text determination procedure is Z0. All right. So here is a pictorial representation of what we are we have done here. All right. I'll just um, <coughs> put it down on paper once again. Step number one. Okay. Create new text type. Or oh, let me actually go to the actual steps and then show you how to do it. Okay. This is what you need to do when you want to do it for a customer. When you want to do it for a sales order, it's a little bit different. Okay. Here is step number one. Create new text type. Whether you want to do it for central text or sales text, it's up to you. Okay. This is step number one. Step number two. select and then click on the procedure and then copy to create your own text determination procedure in this case z5 z0 whatever and then always make sure you click on copy all okay step number three double click on text IDs all right double click there and then go to new and add your own text determination procedure click new and add your own text type okay created in step number one this is um, sorry created in step one okay this is step number three step number four is the assignment assign the text determination procedure z5 z0 whatever you have created to your own customer account to group in this case z005 z0 whatever your customer account group is again once again don't assign it to 001 it doesn't make any sense okay you are you don't want to do it in a live system you don't want to do it in an idea system as well okay that is that and now how do we test it how do we test it it's very simple you create a customer of that customer account group what did we assign it to z005 so create a customer of customer account group z005 vd01 of type Z005 and then enter your customer number 33544 okay it uses internal number that's fine so enter some test just finishing up the address then go to extras texts and then you have customer special instructions we have auditing note so you can have a special auditing note here uh, auditing note could be um, make sure it is double make sure goods are 
double packed okay and then save this guy and then whatever other information that you have to fill in okay whatever is mandatory just fill it up all right save okay the customer number is five customer number five was created in sales area thousand ten zero zero okay now go to vd03 and then enter that customer and you can see that extra little piece of text you go to general data extras texts and then you have that special text over there okay that just shows you how to create your own custom text using a custom text type in this case we have created z000 called it an auditing note and we have created our own customer account group z005 and assigned our text determination procedure z0 to this account group so that whenever we create a customer of this customer account group this particular text determination procedure applies very simple isn't it and what's inside that text determination procedure it contains a list of text types along with a sequence in which they should be acted upon okay first is this next is this next is this. this is how they should be shown and that's what you're just aligning and associating with that text determination procedure so text determination in the case of master data like customer master is very simple it's as simple as it can get okay so try this thing first don't jump to transaction level part text determination it's very similar to this except that when determining your text id there is another thing called as a access sequence so try this thing first and then we'll move on to the text determination at transaction level okay transaction level text this is the next level so from the customer master or from a previous transaction we want certain pieces of text maybe to fold on to the header or to the line item level so we're going to see how to achieve this okay in order to understand this we have to understand something called as a text object if you go to the sap screen and if you go to VOTXN, which is our text determination config transaction, pick any text type and then click on text types, you'll see that there is a text object here. There are so many different text objects. This is general text, KNA1. If you go to sales distribution, you'll see that there is something called KNVV. This is called a sales text. If you go to, uh, let's say, customer uh, sales document header, you'll have something called as VBBK. This is a text object that contains the different text types. So the hierarchy is something like this. Let me go down to another slide where I have defined the different kinds of text objects. I have skipped it on purpose so that um, you would understand the basics first and then we can understand these technical objects this is customer master general text this is sales texts under each of these, there will be n number of texts under each of these again n number of text types these are text types these are text objects so text objects has multiple text types and that's what we have kind of done in the text determination procedure of customer master now same thing with the sales document text types text types text object text object so these are the most used text objects no you don't need to remember these text objects they are not at all necessary but when you come to access sequence at the transaction level you might want to uh, just make a note of them so that you understand what is the priority and what are the sources that you are dealing with 
don't worry you will see an example and it will be pretty obvious okay transaction level text now look at the sales order header let's say into the header we want the custom document uh, transaction type to flow through so we have defined here is our scenario that we are trying to solve for the customer we have create created a new text type z 000 called auditing note and we have assigned this all of this stuff to the customer account group z005 we have created a customer customer number 5 just now when we create a sales transaction say va01 of a particular type let's say 0 or 5 using this customer at the header level there are different texts and at the line item level there are different texts we want this auditing note whatever text has been written there to flow down to one of the texts at the order header level and how do we achieve this now to achieve this we got to define a text type here or you can let it flow down to an existing text type but we would rather define our own text type so that we know how to create a text type at the sales document level also let's call this it need not have the same name it could have a different name z005 or z009 all right so we're going to have this text flow down to z009 now <coughs> first let's create the text type new text z009 custom audit note from customer okay save okay go back next step go to header click on change this is the standard determination procedure text determination procedure copy it create your own z0 enter click on copy all okay and then select it double click on text IDs then we have so many different text IDs 1 2 3 4 5 6 so on so forth until 16 let's introduce a new entry call it 20 and the text ID is going to be Z 0 9 and hit enter click on save and go back to see your result step number 20 z009 is the text id okay now we have created a new text id for the sales order header created our own text determination procedure and the next step should be to assign this text determination procedure to our own custom document type let's say z o r 5 all right z 0 okay save it go back and try to create an order z o r 5 because that's the one that we have modified hit enter and then user customer that we have created customer number 5 all right we have created an order zor5 and then use the customer 5 now let's go to texts how do we see the text at the transaction level select header go to texts and then you can see that there is a new text type called the custom audit note that we have just created and it's supposed to contain the text audit note from the customer master 5 but you don't see anything here right double click you don't see anything here this is the place where it's supposed to come up this blank space but I don't see anything there so quite similar to the way you do pricing analysis there is a button here called the analysis button okay or the log button so click on the log and then it will show you the log of why or how things are determined the way they are now for all of them 
there is a place to expand and then drill down and then do an analysis for z009 however there is no drill down here so what kind of analysis can we do we can't really do anything but why because an access sequence does not exist now what is this access sequence now let's go to the same old transaction same old sales order header go to change mode and then go to z5 and then go to look at the text ids and then see that for our uh, sorry i think it was z9 right or z0 this does not have an access sequence what it means is that we have defined a text type but we did not tell the source that it should fetch it from and that source could be a customer master's text if yes what text type should it be it should be 001 002 003 or should it be text from a previous transaction we have not defined that and that is defined in an access sequence so let's go to an access sequence and define our own access sequence let's say new entries and then say 1000 access sequence select click on accesses now here is the toughest part okay this is where you could get lost so go to new entries select a sequence 10 20 30 40 40 and here is where the text object comes into place so go to text object and there are a limited set of text objects so what is the source of this data at the line at the header level now where do you want to pull it from you don't want to pull it from material text or purchasing text but you want to pull it from customer master general texts right so where is that kna1 that is the object type and under that object which id should it be it should be z00 auditing node that we have just created right okay so far so good and which partner function should it be and should it be for all languages this is very important so should it be for sold to build to it need not always be the same sold to or build to you could pull it from build to you could pull it from ship to or you could pull it from any other alternate partner function right and then there are all these different there are routines requirement routines should they be fulfilled or not but let's not go there at this point all right so the important things here that you need to fill in are the text object the text id the partner function and if necessary languages okay now it need not always be from the customer what if the customer doesn't have it what if the quotation has it then maybe it's not just customer it's the sales document the previous sales document header text and where do should it need to come from uh, maybe it needs to come from form header or some place okay again sold to party uh, all languages ag for mvk okay Uh uh I did delete that Change will be lost yes that's right okay and then click save So it just says that language doesn't exist for a customer sorry sales document header which is fine Okay now 1000 is the access sequence that we have created and go to text procedure go to our custom text procedure and enter 1000 here this is our access sequence okay now save it go back all the way and try to create an order again for this customer and enter your customer customer number 5 zor5 order type go to header click on text and you see that this thing is filled in because you see that this little pencil and notepad has some scribble lines on it and if you double click it 
you'll see some stuff here the same text that was available in the customer master okay if you go to the log you can see the log of how the system has obtained these texts all right so those steps are highlighted here if you can just go through these notes and the screenshots are all available okay now here is an exercise that I want to give you <coughs> what I want you to configure is define your own customer account group new customer account group call it Z XXX whatever you want to define okay create a new text type called ZXXX and assign it to this customer how do you do it you assign a new text determination procedure assign it to this customer account group and this text type should be part of this text determination procedure as simple as that now third step create new customer of that customer account group call it 5 10 15 20 1000 whatever customer number and fourth step is create a new text type at sales doc header level call it z y y y associate Z Y Y Y to sales order header of a document Z O R five or whatever your document type is. Okay. Step number six is source the text of Z O R five Z Y Y Y from customer master Z Y Y. So you have to define your access sequence in such a way that this text ZYYY at the header level is sourced from the corresponding customer masters ZXXX and step number seven if ZXXX is not present in customer master then source it from previous transaction this is the extra step that I'm giving you source it from Z Y Y Y of previous transaction meaning if the customer has Z X X X source it to the sales order Z Y Y Y if it doesn't have it maybe this is an order that was created from a quotation and that quotation had Z Y Y V. If this doesn't, if this is not available, then source it from this. It's like a fail back, fall back option. Right? This is the extra step that I want you to do. All right. Thank you very much, guys.